That van is worrying. Why would we need a van? Um, could I ask you both to identify, please? Yep, PC2178. What station? Earlham Station. 2387 Earlham. Earlham? Was Earlham. that as in E A R L Ham? Yes, yep. See, I know how to spell things. But what, what is going on with. Apparently, the people are saying that your force policy is that you don't need to give names. We don't have to give our names, no. We can give you our collars. So you, you really are just being reduced down to numbers. How is that, how is that possibly going to bridge the gap between the public and the police force if, if there's no even any name terms going on? Oh, I'm not going to answer that. It's kind of in, uh, quite important, really, isn't it? You would have thought that would be something that if, you would... If that's, that's what you think, but I'll, I'm not going to talk to you about it. Wow. So when it comes to bridging the gap between the police and the public, the uh, your line is just, let's just not even talk about it at all. I'm not going to talk to you about it. So we're numbers and statues. Jesus Christ, this is getting worse. This notion of... I just, I'm, this is my first real interaction with the police, ever, really. It's only my third time down here doing anything like this at all. This is just endlessly disappointing. Endlessly disappointing. That well, can we see if um, anybody done to blame down here with any, any criminal activity going on? Oh, we're filming now as well, great. Yeah. That's a... Uh, this week. <laughs> you for, for this week? Oh, let's go through the usual routine then, seeing as um. So you know, like in the last couple of weeks, there's been loads of stuff in the media about. Uh, not even in the media. There's been uh, the reports about the Met and all that kind of stuff about how many rotters there are in the Met and how awful it is. So I'm just going to ask the same question again. How are we going to bridge that gap between those reports coming out mm. and you guys refusing to talk about it or even give names like your human beings? How are the public going to trust you guys again if you're not making an effort to bridge this gap and you're just, like, smirking while someone's talking about rape and murder within the force? Are you serious? Are we just going to have a smirk about David Carrick and Wayne Cousins and all those kind of people as well? Because we were all told at the time that we should ask for three forms of ID. And we're just going to sigh <coughs> instead. Um, we were all told that we should ask for three forms of ID from all police and we should demand that. And I'm finding today, apart from smirky over here, Is any part of this with you taking it seriously yet? You're really going to smirk through a conversation between bridging the gap between the public and the police, mentioning Wayne Cousins and David Carrick, and you're going to smirk all the way through that. Do you think that's appropriate? Smiling, being polite and smiling. Right. <coughs> So if I talk about anything nasty, you're just going to be polite and smiley all the way through it. This is very worrying. Do you not understand how worrying this is? This is so disturbing. Well, I'm sorry, I've got to go through the routine. I've got all sorts of echolalia, Tourette's, OCD, loads of things, so I end up being a bit weird and shouting and stuff. So it'd be really nice if... Um, Whatever. It'd be really nice if I wasn't just immediately criminalised for being weird or shouting or swearing a bit too much today. Uh, Tourette's doesn't mean swearing, but it might happen. Echolalia means once it starts, I'm probably just going to repeat myself shitloads and carry on talking. OCD means I'm just compelled to keep on blah, 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 blah. But, you know, don't arrest me first. That'd be nice. I know you don't seem to really care about bridging the gap, but, you know, a bit of leeway and humanity at a situation when someone in front of you is with disorders, disabilities. Uh, and I've got all the information on me, so I could show it, but 
I tried the last two weeks and everyone said no, they didn't want to see it. They'd rather criminalise me first and arrest me and have me prove it later. Which I didn't realise we were doing the guilt thing first these days, but we appear to be. <sighs> well, the day isn't getting any better. <laughs>